the beginnings of my next project. Can you guess what it is yet? All right, got the box mounted to the wall. Gonna run everything up and down this. Okay, got the one cable stay installed. All right, after doing a mock-up, realize I need to actually cut this out right here so I have a better mounting. All right, found this board. We got mounted to the wall securely to the studs. This is actually from a leftover cut off from a bed frame. All right, make sure that we're level here. Looks a little off. That looks pretty good. Yep. All right, and that white tube is just gonna be protecting the wire to make sure I don't bump into it with anything. All right, got most of my wiring run here. Um, I am not a qualified electrician, so make sure you consult any building codes that you may have. All right, for this project, I am using a double pole single throw switch, meaning that it actually will insulate two circuits. This is different than a normal light switch, that these two will be connected when the switch is thrown, and these two will be connected, but they will not connect across. So this way I can make sure to isolate everything when I throw the switch. All right, wiring of the switch is not shown because like I said, that is something you need to investigate and make sure you know what you're doing. All right, now the cover is installed for I have an emergency cutoff switch or if I'm gonna be gone for long periods of time, I can actually throw this switch off. So that way all receptacles are dead and I don't want to worry about any parasitic loads while it's off. All right, you can see you got the switch is all done, wired up, up there. So I've got incoming power and everything going out to the receptacles from there. So this way I can actually turn everything on and off and then back off. So like I said, now I have an emergency switch if I need to, if something is shorting out or if I just want to turn everything off. So I have no parasitic power from like the TV or anything drawing power when I'm not here. 